So the very first thing we have to do is to create a folder. We'll call it context. And inside the context folder, we have to create the constants. The same old school we are following here. And this will call swap context in JS. And that we're going to build all the functionality. So this is the context folder we have. Now what we can do is let's come here into the deploy script and here we're going to build the environment for deploying all the contract so we have close to five contract and we have to deploy all the contract so we have to write the script for that so if we open the contract here we have all these five contract and we have to build the script so what we can do let me give this comment so this one is this erc20 token boo token and we are deploying that simply copy this paste here paste here and this will call simply select all this one and say remove boo and this will become small b so this is the boo token deploy script simply copy this one and do the same thing for other token so this will become the live token and we have to change the name here we're going to simply say boo this one is become live and what is the name we have given so it's a live token so simply replace this live live and this is a live one with small l so this is the live deploy script now simply grab this one and we have to deploy the let's say so this is swap single swap simply grab that one and we have to deploy that so paste here paste here and simply replace this one and change this one and simply say small and that's the deploy script swap single swap simply grab and we have to do the same thing for the multiple so change the name placed here and this is called multi hop and this one save it change it multi hop and here we have to make it small so this will become small less and small less so we have this multi hop so we have all these four deploy script and we have this one as well this is the interface we have created what we can do is let's create a folder and we're going to call it interface and inside that we're going to place this one and this is the right structure which you have to follow when you are building the smart contract so if you have created an interface you have to put inside the interface folder and make it separate between the contract and the interface looks good to me no more problem we have here so this is all the deploy script and close this one and now close this close this open up your terminal and here we go to simply first thing we have to do is split the terminal and we have to run the local blockchain so for that you can type npx hard at node this will initialize the local blockchain so let's just wait and here we have all these accounts everything is working fine now we have to come here npx hard at and we have to clean the old artifact so not that so we have to type npx hard at clean this will delete the old artifact so you can see we have we don't have the artifact now we have to compile the code so if you do that so let me go up so this is the script which you have to run so we are deploying this contract to our local host and i believe that this is not new to all of you so this is a script we have to run and here we have compiled and here we have got all the as addresses all the addresses so we have the boo address we have the live we have the single swap and the multiple swap so that looks fine to me no more error we have let's come here in the context but before we go into the context let's come here in the artifact inside the artifact we have this contract and here we have this boot token abi simply drag and drop in the context do the same thing for the other token do multi hop and do the for the single hop and we have also created this abi for the interface as well so let's get that one as well simply so copy and drop here so we have all the abis and we have all the addresses simply copy this one and paste here comment this do the same thing for the live token and we have to grab it till here paste here 
we have to grab this single and paste here and we have to grab this one multi hop so these are the addresses we have and now we have to do the setup so you know what we have to do first we have to import the abi so that's coming from the same directory we have to import the abi for the mm, what is the name of that file so it's a live token and that's come from the same directory we have to import the abi for the swap uh, what is the name single swap token and that's come from the same directory and the last one we have is swap multi hop and that's also come from the same directory so these are the abis we have imported in the context and this is the right structure you have to build all the imports all the private key imports you can do in this way in one single file now we have to build the logic so first we have to do is we have to export this const and this will say boo address the token address simply simply grab the token address do the same thing for the live token address and we have to do the same for the single swap token address and this will become the multi hop swap multi hop address and we have this address is simply copy and paste copy and paste copy paste and copy and paste so these are the addresses we have now we have to import the api so this will call boo token we have to import the api boo token api and that's coming from boo token api do the same thing for the other token so we'll say a live token and export cons live token abi live token dot abi let's make this single swap token and export con single swap abi single swap abi and this will become swap multi hop and we have the abi for this as well multi hop abi these are the contracts addresses and the abi everything we are exporting from one single file 